You have no idea how bad that is for your teeth. Uh, yeah I do. If you did, you wouldn't be drinking it. Okay, so what's your excuse? Hot chocolate. Way better for you. I'm a hygienist. I think I can take care of myself. Thanks. Coffee's still bad for your teeth. <sighs> you're feisty. Can you shut up? Whoa. Seriously, I'm over there minding my own business, and you're over here talking to me about coffee? I mean... Ooh. And now I stain my shirt. I can help you with that if you want. So what's your name? Martina. Uh, what's yours? I'm Nick. Um, you're right, you know. About what? About the coffee. Like, I know it's not good for my teeth. Why do you do it then? Well, it's just like kind of my vice. What do you need a vice for? Do you ever feel like you're being pulled in every which way, every direction, and you just kind of never win? Yeah? What are you talking about? Well, I'm supposed to be taking the DAT soon, and I don't think I'm even going to get above a 30%. Well, I'm not a dentist, but I know a lot about teeth. Maybe I can help. Yeah, I don't know about that. It seems kind of pointless. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've ever said, Martina, and I hardly know you. Oh my god, you're so right. What was I thinking? Let's go study. I know it seems hard, but just hear me out. All you do is carry the one, and then you're done. This is math? What? No. I was just carrying my number one shaped balloon. Now, what question did you have again? So, when I first met Nick, I thought he was like really smart and knew a lot about teeth. But it turns out he's just like kind of obsessed with himself. I've been here for two hours and I haven't even learned what the hardest part of the body is. It's the enamel. Get out! Listen, I know I offered to help this girl, but she is literally so stupid. How are you in the oral care community and you don't know that the hardest part of the body is the enamel? Or that there are gonna be 10,400 new dentists by 2028? I mean, my God, it's, it's like, there comes a point where enough is enough, you know? It's just, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, I love your though. Okay, so two plus two is five. Well, it, Nick, it says it right there. Ugh, this is useless. I haven't learned anything. Well, yeah, no wonder. You've been playing tic-tac-toe this whole time. Maybe I would stop zoning out if you spent a little less time checking yourself out. Do you know who you're talking to? Some dentist wannabe? <laughs> you really want to get into this? Okay. This is me with the head dentist of the United States. This is me signing the declaration of interdentist. I invented teeth. So to answer your question, I'm not some dentist wannabe. Dentists want to be me. And you'd be pretty obsessed with yourself too if that was the case for you. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. I heard what you said. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You don't have to say that. No, really. It was insensitive of me and I apologize. Thanks. So what did you say about me when you were alone? Really encouraging things, Martina. And this is how I get treated. Some thank you I got. <laughs> Baby, I'm just not cut out to be a dentist after all. Oh, come on, Martina, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> I hate it when girls cry. You better not break my favorite plate. plate. I know mom, I'm not an idiot! Whoa! I didn't mean it, mom, I swear. You'll never amount to anything. You can't even take care of a stupid dish. Get up. Where are we going? We're going to study. You aren't getting up until you learn everything in these three textbooks. That's impossible. The test is tomorrow. It doesn't matter. This way, even if you fail, you can't say you didn't try. All right. Let's get it. You carry the two, but then after that, it stopped. It's actually good. And then you're just done. Without you. Ugh. Thank you so much. Anytime, bro. So what are you gonna do now? Go wherever the world takes me, I guess. I believe in you, bro. You got this.